morning, welcome back. Today I'm out to do some more autumn woodland photography. Uh, we've got large storms rolling in off the Atlantic at the moment. So the wind has really started to strip all the leaves off the trees. So let's crack on and get going. Crazy that autumn's not over yet and buds on the trees for next year's leaves are already here. Don't really know what I'm looking for today. Nothing in particular. Maybe you find a good shot of some nuts, berries, maybe a mushroom. Who knows? Uh, just going to enjoy being outside today because it's absolutely beautiful. Although I can feel a few spots of rain now. Beginning to look like mushroom season is over. Not seen a single mushroom in about a mile of walking through the woods so far. So we'll have to find something else to photograph. I've just found this gorgeous oak leaf here. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can get a shot with these water droplets on it. Um, not quite sure how I'm going to do it, but we'll have a go and see what angle we can get. I am going to throw a bit of light on the subject with this little light here. I've got it about two feet away from the leaf, so let's see what we can do. Right, I've got my 20mm f1.8 on. I'm getting as close as I can get. So let's take a shot and see what it comes out like. Not quite in the centre, so we'll have another go. Right, it was a bit of mud or something on the leaf that I didn't like, so I've removed that. I think that looks a lot more central now. So let's try again. Yep, really pleased with that. Let's go and find something else to photograph. So you might think with that shot that the lens was closer than the minimum focus distance of that lens which is about 20 centimeters I think don't quote me on that but it's not the distance from the object to the front element of the lens it's the distance from the subject to the sensor of the camera that is the distance we're talking about when we're talking about minimum focus distance so that's why I appear to be super close almost on top of that object found this super delicate little mushroom here I'm going to photograph it from that direction over here because it's looking back uphill under the mushroom which should give me a good viewpoint so mushroom is here light is here and I'm going down here looking back that way I think I'm going to change my lens, put my 40mm f2 on. I can't quite get close enough with this, I don't feel. Alright, back in a minute. 
Right, so we are back with the 40mm F2. Ah, that's come off. Don't need that. Alright, I'm still struggling to get the shot I want. The trouble is, because it's not a macro lens, you can't really get close enough. Now I need to up the ISO a bit. Alright, see what that comes out like. I think I'm going to be cropping in a fair way on that one. Ugh. Ow. Eee. Joys of mushroom photography. Ugh. That's one mushroom done. Let's crack on and find something else because it feels like there's a rainstorm on the way. Yeah, definitely. Right, I found these two beautiful little mushrooms on the side of this tree here. That's not me shaking, that's the wind actually vibrating the mushrooms. That's how windy it is. Well, I don't have a macro lens with me, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my 40mm on my Z50, which should give me about 60mm uh, with about 30cm focusing distance, which hopefully will get me tight enough to these mushrooms to get the shot I want. So we're going to swip rolls, photograph with a Z50 and film this on the Z5 for a change. Now these are the mushrooms I'm trying to get a photo of at the moment. I'm really struggling, I can't get in there very well with the camera to film it. And I can't really get the angle I want to photograph it. I'm just trying to get in as close as I can, try and find that minimum focus distance. Probably about there. Take the shot. Not really happy with that try again. I'm really struggling with this to get a good shot. Right, I think I've finally found the composition I want. I don't know if that's any good or not. Really not sure about that shot. I think I'm trying too hard. Got the wrong lenses with me. Um, I'll post it up if it's any good, but I don't think it's going to be. I might have to do some severe cropping on that to uh, get that to work. Today's felt like a bit of a struggle. I seem to have changed lenses between cameras so many times. Don't like doing that in the rain, obviously. The uh, trouble is, in the forest, you are pushing the limit of, not pushing the limit, but you're bumping the ISO so high sometimes that it was higher than you want to go. And because it's windy, I'm using. I can't, I can't use long shutter speeds because the mushrooms are so delicate they're actually blowing around in the wind and not getting a sharp image. Um, because you're constantly trying to balance shutter speed against ISO, against your F number um, and it's just kind of not working today because of the wind and it's so dark see the grey dune clouds gathering on the horizon. I wonder if I'll get back to the car before they get me. Not really sure how I feel about today's photography. Um, I know I didn't have any particular plan and that's quite often for me a bad thing because I'm not very focused otherwise. Uh, on the flip side I've had a nice time outside it's not rained too much. I do think I've got one or two photos that I can uh, work with, which you've probably already seen if you've watched to this point. So, quite hungry now. Time to go and get some food. Thanks for watching. Here's a metaphor for what the weather's been like recently. A massive pile of poo.